This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us for the 2017 fall edition of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. We are so glad that you can join us. We have eight students ready to take on some competition here in Whiz Quiz. You're going to see Marion Local take on Columbus Grove, and a little bit later, you're going to see New Bremen face off against Finley. We want to also welcome our judge back again this year, Mark Dickman. So um, let's introduce you to our players, though, first. From Marion Local, we have Isaac Buddy, Matt Burning, Austin Kramer, and Olivia Booty. And Marion Local is coached by Paula Hemelgarn. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Columbus Grove, we have Anna Choi, Cassie Heilman, Will Nussbaum, and Tom Otto. And Columbus Grove is coached by Nancy Shortgen. Welcome to all of you. All right, I know we have some returners, but just in case, we want to remind you that we have 10 questions in this first round. They're all worth 10 points apiece. Make sure you get the buzzers ready and speak loudly, as loudly as possible, and make your answers as complete as possible. All right, here we go. Question number one. What is the name for hell in Greek mythology? Yes, Columbus Grove. Hades. Hades is correct. What country is bordered by the Red Sea and Persian Gulf? All right, time is up. The answer is Saudi Arabia. Moving on to number three, what Disney movie's villain is Captain Hook? Yes, that would be Marion Local. Peter Pan. Peter Pan is correct. What type of bird is the only bird that can fly backwards as well as upside down? Yes, that would be Columbus Grove. A hummingbird? Hummingbird is correct. The use of chopsticks originated in what country? Yes, Mary Local. China? China is correct. All right, what is the more common term for herpes zoster? Yes, Mary Local. A cold sore. That is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you want to try it? Time is up. The answer is shingles. All right, number seven. How many chromosomes are found in the average person? Yes, Marion Local. 46. That is incorrect. Columbus Grove, yes. 26. 26, also incorrect. 23 is the answer. All right, what organ is inflamed when one has encephalitis? Yes, Marion Local. The brain. The brain is correct. What metal is not a solid at room temperature? Yes, that would be Columbus Grove. Mercury. Mercury is the answer. And our final question in round one, which book comes last in the New Testament? Marion Local. Book of Revelations. Revelation is correct. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of round one. Here's our score. Columbus Grove with 30 points, Marion Local with 40. And we'll be back with the last two rounds after this. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by Hupie Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, welcome back everyone. We're moving into round two of our game between Marion Local and Columbus Grove. And right now, Marion Local is leading with 40 points and Columbus Grove has 30. That means Marion Local, you're up first with your five questions worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers, okay? All right, what name did George H.W. Bush paint on his World War II bomber? Oh, 
The answer is Barbara. All right, number two, what water current makes the south side of Cape Cod warm? No, the answer is the Gulf Stream. All right, number three, what Shakespearean character has more lines than any others? Yes, Macbeth. That is incorrect. The answer is Hamlet. All right, number four. Name the country bordered by Austria, France, Slovenia, and Switzerland. Yes. Germany. Germany is incorrect. The answer is Italy. And here's your final question. What U.S. coin weighs five grams? Yes. The quarter. Quarter is incorrect. The answer is the nickel. All right, Columbus Grove, your turn with your five questions. Everybody ready? Okay. Where would you find the world's largest reef system? Yes. The Florida Keys. That is incorrect. I did hear the, the word over here. It's Australia. All right. What Jewish Holocaust victim became famous after her death when her wartime diary was published? Yes. Anne Frank. Anne Frank is the answer. What vitamin is produced when a person is exposed to sunlight? Yes. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is the answer. What city is the capital of Australia? Sydney. Yes. Sydney. Sydney is incorrect. Canberra is the answer. And your final question in round two. Name the most common limbless vertebrate. Snakes. Snake is correct. All right. We've come to the end of round two. Here's our score. Marion Local with 40 points. Columbus Grove, 45. It's a close one. All right, everybody, this is our last 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. They're all for grabs, okay? Number one, what two nations occupy most of the west coast of South America? Yes, Marion Local. Portugal and Spain. That is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you want to try it? <clears throat> yes. Chile and Ecuador. You are halfway there. It's Peru and Chile. All right, number two. Which great lake does not touch a Canadian shore? Yes, that would be Columbus Grove. Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan is the answer. In what water was Jesus baptized? Yes, Marion Local. The Jordan. Could you expand? The River Jordan. That is correct. All right. Number four. What book is narrated by six-year-old Jean Louise, also known? Yes, that would be Marion Local. To Kill a Mockingbird. That is correct. What is the largest internal organ in the human body? Marion Local. The brain. The brain is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you got a chance. The lung. That is also incorrect. The liver is the answer. All right, number six. What is a substance containing only one kind of atom? Yes, that would be Columbus Grove. An element. An element is the answer. What uncooked meat is a trichina worm most likely to make a home in? Yes, that would be Marion Local. Pork. Pork is the answer. What does NASA stand for? Yes, Marion Local. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Very good. All right. Two questions remain in your game. What continent has the fewest flowering plants? Yes, Marion Local. Antarctica. Antarctica is correct. All right, one question remaining here. What young lady made diary entries from June of 1942 to August 1st of 19... Yes, that would be Columbus Grove. Anne Frank. Anne Frank is the answer. 
All right, we've come to the end of our game between Marion Local and Columbus Grove, and it was a good one. You all did very well. Columbus Grove, though, came up short with 75 points. Marion Local, you have 90. Congratulations. You'll be moving on in competition. Columbus Grove, thank you for joining us again this year. All right, stay tuned. New Bremen takes on Finley coming up next. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. Welcome back, everyone. We just completed a game between Botkins and Bell Fountain High Schools. The winner there was Botkins. They'll be moving on to face the winner of this game now between Shawnee and Riverdale High Schools. We want to introduce you to the players joining us from Riverdale. We have Andrew Borkowski, Samuel Thacker, Benjamin Borkowski, and Aaron Lease. And Riverdale is coached by... Christy Thacker. All right, turning now to Shawnee High School, we have Isaac Hanover, Harsha Batula, Eric New, and Kai Malcolm. And Shawnee is coached by John Young. Welcome to you, gentlemen. All right, our first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready. Make sure you speak as loudly as possible and make those answers as complete as possible. Here we go, question number one. Identify the last letter of the Greek alphabet. Riverdale. Uh, omega. Omega is correct. What is myeloid tissue also called? Time is up, teams. The answer is bone marrow. All right, number three. Identify what the acronym SIDS stands for. Yes, Shawnee. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. That is correct. Moving on to number four. The bark of the willow tree was originally used to make what medicine? Shawnee. Painkillers. Painkillers. Aspirin. Um, aspirin is the answer there. All right, number five. In Athens, Greece, what temple is atop the Acropolis? Yes, Riverdale. The Parthenon. Parthenon is correct. What disease is the focus of oncology? Yes, Shawnee. Cancer. Cancer is correct. Question number seven. Who succeeded President Nixon when he resigned? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford is correct. In the human body, what is the longest bone? Shawnee. The femur. The femur is correct. All right, what is Chicago's nickname? Yes, Riverdale. The Windy City. The Windy City is right. And our final question in our first round, the character Piggy is found in what? Yes, it would be Shawnee. The Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of round one. That went quickly. Riverdale with 30 points. Shawnee with 60. Moving on now to our second round. Shawnee, you will have the first five questions worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers, okay? An army is the name used for a collective group of what amphibians? Yes. Frogs. Frogs is correct. All right. 80 stones make up this English prehistoric monument. Yes. Stonehenge. Stonehenge is correct. So what is the largest city of New Mexico? Yes. San Juan. That is incorrect. The answer is Albuquerque. All right, two questions remaining here. Where is the pituitary gland located? Yes, Shawnee? The brain. 
the brain is correct. And your final question in the second round. In what country does Canterbury Tales take place? Yes. England. England is the right answer. All right, moving over to Riverdale now with your five questions. Please buzz in. How many chambers are in the human heart? Yes. Four. Four is the right answer. What beverage is traditionally drunk by the winners of the Indy 500? Yes. Milk. Milk, correct. Name the author of The Hunt for Red October. Yes. Uh, Clive Cussler. That is incorrect. Tom Clancy is the answer. Okay, two questions remain yet. What NBA player is the youngest to score 28,000 career points? Yes. LeBron James. That is correct, LeBron James. Here's your final question in round two. What is the name of the main evil villain in the movie Aladdin? Yes. Jafar. Jafar is correct. All right. We've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here is our score. Riverdale with 50 points. Shawnee with 80. We'll be back to wrap up the game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company committed to you and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. Here's our score right now. Riverdale with 50 points, Shawnee with 80. We have 10 questions left to go. These are all up for grabs. Get those buzzers ready and here we go. A goiter is an enlargement of what? Yes, Shawnee. The neck. The neck is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try it? What we're looking for is the thyroid gland. All right, number two. Who wanted to kill Jesus when he was a baby? Yes, Riverdale. Herod. We will accept that. That's correct. Herod, King Herod. What is the chemical symbol for gold? Riverdale. AU. AU is the answer. Legend says that only what will kill a werewolf? Riverdale. Silver. Could you expand that? Uh, silver weaponry. We can't take that answer, so we're going to turn it over to Shawnee. Yes? A silver bullet. A silver bullet is what we're looking for. All right. Number five, what is the term for a zero score in tennis? <laughs> Shawnee. Love. Love is correct. What are the colors of all the houses and hotels in Monopoly? Yes, Riverdale. Green and red. That's correct. Green and red. The disease scurvy can occur as a lack of what vitamin? Riverdale. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is it? Pride and Prejudice was written by what author? Yes, Riverdale. Jane Austen. Jane Austen is correct. Number nine, what is America's leading dairy state? Riverdale. Wisconsin. Wisconsin is the answer. And here's your final question in your game. What is the northeasternmost state in the United States? Riverdale. Maine. Maine is correct. All right, great job. You, <laughs> we've come to the end of our game between Riverdale and Shawnee, and it was a close one up to the very end. Here's our final score, Shawnee, 100 points. Riverdale, you're the winner with 120. Congratulations, you came on strong there in that last round. Shawnee, thank you so much for joining us again this year. Thanks for playing along at home. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.